I need to make a steel ring. And while it would be nice to have a ring roller, I don't have one right now, so I'm just going to improvise. Thinking if I stick this between these two bolts, stand on this, yank up, it'll as soon as that catches, it'll bend. And then I can put it, put it through a little more, pull it, bend it more, put it through a little more, bend it more. And hopefully, if I do that carefully and check my circle a lot, I'll end up with a circle at the end. So that's what I'm going for here. Alright, how much do I bend this? Let's see. Hmm, not bad. That's in the middle. Let's see. Oh, come on. Looks like I finally broke a tooth on the big gear right there. Just in time for a replacement. Oh, right, this is bigger. Huh. New gear is totally bigger. Apparently, I measured. The outside of this, the outside of this one, and I use that for the inside of this pipe. Let me just see if this will fit. I think this will fit okay still. Oh, I know this is asking a lot. Do it, come on! Whoa, took a while, but I got it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> just give me a minute with a file. And maybe I'm just drunk today. I don't know. <laughs> this I actually do want to fit tight though, so it's good. Jamie so you don't forget once the wheel grazes the thing turn this knob one and three quarter turns past there to get the groove in and then make a second groove one slot away one hole away on this thing 
to make the groove what looks like it should be wide enough. Ah, 240 cuts, two in each tooth space. Now I need to round them somehow, shape the teeth. Oh, that's a lot of teeth. They look pretty good though. I think I'm going to have to make bigger grooves in this. Before I do that though, I want to make the small gear. Uh, I measured the diameter of this at the center of the teeth. And then from that, uh, multiplied by pi to get the distance around. Divided by that by 120 teeth to get the, the distance between teeth. Then multiplied that times 12 to get the circumference of my small gear at the center of the the teeth now the teeth are going to be about three millimeters deep it looks like so i added three millimeters to that and i ended up getting just under three centimeters across and that would be at the part of the gear that's right in the center of the teeth and since this is beveled the part on the outside is a little fatter the part on the inside is a little thinner so I just need to make sure the part that's right right in the middle here is three centimeters in diameter. And this is a little more than three centimeters in diameter. So nice. It's solid too. It does have a hole at this end that doesn't go through. I'm going to have to cut this where there's no uh, grooves. Yeah, so if I take a chunk out of there, I should be able to make a nice gear that fits with this. The cutting wheel has been doing not a terrible job. It is a little more flexible than desirable and, you know, it slowly wears down. So I have to keep adjusting. But, you know, it's not bad. It's doing the job. Uh, I think I'm just going to angle grind it, eyeball it, try to get it as 90 degrees as I can, and then clean it up on the lathe. Not bad. Alright, let's straighten this out in this thing. Oh, this is gonna take a while to drill this hole. see how long that took. I got some good drill bit sharpening practice on that one. Spacing looks good. That is starting to look like a gear. Oh, 
it's getting pretty close to fitting too. Not bad. Sweet. Oh, good stuff. Clean this up a little bit and put a flat spot there because only the this part of the teeth will be used so I can put a screw through there to hold it onto the axle and this guy's looking pretty good things seem to be running fairly smoothly I think I can go put this on I think you know before I started making these I was thinking well making them out of stainless steel that's going to be hard not really that hard I think it might have been because I was thinking it would be super hard and then, you know, obviously it didn't live up to that.